bleed if it needs to. So when there's bleeding, then it actually, that's when it really heals and closes, so. Okay, we have ermin here. We've been uh, putting what we call a unaboot. This is a venous cases ulcer. He has some vein issues where the area opens up and it has a big hole of ulcer, which we've been treating. So weekly we've been putting unaboot, which is compressive, and then it's got a medicine to heal this area. So it's looking a lot better. We'll show you the before picture with a very large uh, ulcer here or opening. But now what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning this uh, ulcer off and then keep it clean and then uh, let it uh, bleed if it needs to. So when there's bleeding, then it actually, that's when it really heals and closes. So we want it to show some bleeding too, but if it doesn't bleed, that's okay too. But if we can clean it out, then it really heals the area nicely. So I'm just cleaning all this area. Right now, we'll show you before and after picture. So how are we doing, Armin? Pretty good, sir. so far so good. Yeah, he's been coming every week very patiently, right? Yes. Yeah, like a real good patient. He's determined to close this yeah. and be done with, right? That's right. Yeah, so we had a very large opening, but now it looks almost closed. It looks really nice. So I'm just cleaning out all this, um, that tissue so that it's gonna look nice by the time we're done. It's almost like a callus, but it developed this. So we want to just keep it clean. So you, after we put the wound boot on, you have to keep it dry, huh? Right. So yes. how do you keep it dry? Do you like uh, put a bag over it or take in a shower? How do you? How yeah, do you do? When we, yeah, when I get ready to take a shower, I'll just, uh, I really usually wrap it pretty tight. Yeah? Like three or four different bags. <laughs> yeah. So he's been so really patient. Yeah, he's been very patient and willing to work with us, so we, we, we get this closed. But we're almost there. This There was a big hole here, which we can see here. But now it's closing with our compression. So when, when people have venous stasis ulcer, we have a lot of vein problem, and it keeps the area swollen and retaining water in this area where it makes the skin very weak. And then it opens up uh, and become an ulcer because the skin is paper thin from the uh, chronic uh, inflammation of the area. And then retaining of water makes the skin very weak, like a paper thin. So this area can kind of break open and have an ulcer, which is very dangerous because it can get infected and has all the problems. So, so as you can see, I'm just cleaning out this whole area. It looks very good. There's really no opening here anymore. And the other area looks very good too. So I'm just cleaning out all the that tissue so it's nice and clean and I'm of course going to put another layer of uh, what we call a unaboot which is a uh, impregnated uh, uh, like medicine and then it compresses and keeps the swelling away and then it heals the area and it keeps it dry for a week and we've been doing this weekly for uh, quite a few weeks now to get to this level so it requires a lot of um, patience and understanding and being careful with this area so this can all heal. Once it's healed, hopefully it won't come back so we can maintain it with a nice brace that he already has. So that's kind of what we're doing. As you can see, I'm continuing to work in this area. This is some area that needs all this dead tissues out of there because these dead tissues kind of get in the way of healing. So I'm just cleaning it nicely. You've had this also how long? I mean, you've had it for a long time, huh? Long, long time. Actually, it it healed up, but mm -hmm. but the uh, skin remained rough. Uh huh. And it keeps it opening never, up. It never speed. It never smoothed out. Mm hmm. But this is the best I've seen, though, right? Yes. Yeah. Exactly this is really good right now. This is um, very promising. That this area started looking like normal tissues, skin tissues, so it's very nice and requires a lot of attention and I put some uh, what we call a silvadine which is an antibiotic cream that's made of silver which is very good for the skin 
It's called Sivadine. It's good for any burn injuries or any ulcer that requires a lot of power to heal. This is a very nice antibiotic cream. It's prescription only, but uh, if you use it, it heals very nicely for a lot of different kinds of wounds. So I'm just cleaning up as I'm continuing from the different spots, dividing all these areas. Looking very good. I'm going to show you a picture of what it looked like even like a couple months ago, which had a very large opening here. So this is one of the uh, treatment that we do for the chronic ulcer. So we keep the brining down into good uh, skin. And then for this condition, we want to keep the swelling away. So we put a, what we call a wound boot, which keeps the area nice and uh, uh, tight so that it doesn't swell up again because chronic swelling causes the thinning of the skin and then causes the uh, skin to break open causing an ulcer so I just keep looking at it and then I'm gonna this looks nice where we're gonna put a some silvadin cream and then we're gonna wrap it up again with the with the what we call a unaboot. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So it looks very nice. This area is all closed. So that's kind of where we are. It looks really nice. So we're gonna clean up this area a little bit using alcohol to show you what it looks like. As you can see this area is very nice now. And I'm going to put some uh, silvadine cream, which is this white cream, just to make sure it will heal nicely, right in the center of the area. And I'm going to put what we call a wound boot, which I'm going to show you how I put it on. So I'm going to put a little pillow underneath here. Erwin is used to this, so he knows exactly what to do. So this is a uh, medicated uh, little dressing that I put around, start from toward the knee area. And I'm just laying on it. I'm not doing it too tight because it's, we don't want to tighten up too much, but we're just laying on it all around the area, including the ulcerated area. This way the swelling is minimized and then the skin becomes stronger so that it all heals nicely. So I'm going back up and then coming back down and then that's kind of where it ends. And I kind of massage it in a little bit and then I put a little bit of padding with our a little bit of gauze rolled around to give a little cushion. Since it's kind of wet, we want to keep the wetness a little bit away from the outside. So we put this bandage all around it. Not too tight though, we're just laying on it. And then we put a little bit of compressive pressing with this. Start from the top, going down. Not too tight on this one either, just kind of laying on it. But this alone is a compressive as well. It kind of sticks to itself, so we have it. kind of mold it in a little bit, and then that's it. It keeps it dry for a week. I'll see him next week, and then we clean this area again, and then this is how we do it.